very important to bring in the natural world that we have outdoors, indoors. So today we're going to create a desert terrarium. Here in Arizona, we like to use native species such as cacti and succulents. And I think the desert botanicals are really making a huge impact in our floral industry. This desert terrarium that I'm going to design is extremely elegant and very, very simple to create. We love to use cacti and succulents and really textural, interesting, botanicals. In order to create this very modern trough arrangement, you're going to need a few different supplies. And the first thing you're going to need to get is some sugar. We've actually found that instead of using white sand, which can be pretty expensive at your local craft store, to just use sugar. Then you'll need a knife in order to cut down the cacti. Also, a pair of very thick leather gloves. I just picked these up at Home Depot's or Lowe's. You could probably order them on Amazon but you can see they've been used quite a bit. This actually will protect your hands from the hazard of using the cacti within your arrangements. Here you can see that these are the different cacti that I selected. I like a whole different variety. You can get all of the same if you prefer a really modern clean look, but I like a little bit of height variation, some low, some high, some different cultivars to really impact the arrangement personally. Also, I like different textures. This cactus looks almost a little fuzzy, and when they look fuzzy, you know they have locusts. Those are the little the fine like hairs that can get into your skin and irritate you, so don't touch it even though it looks fuzzy. This is our glass plate trough that we absolutely love here at the Floriculture. We use it for a variety of purposes. Oh, we can float flowers in it, you can create an arrangement on top with a simple little grid, or you can enclose plants within it, such as a terrarium. So that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be creating a thin layer of sugar on the bottom, cutting the cacti down, and then placing them within the actual trough in order for the cacti to look enclosed. I like to add the sugar first before things get a little bit messy with the soil and the cacti. So just get your sugar over and you're gonna create some hills and valleys. I like to use a little scoop so that I can have a little bit more control when I'm adding the sugar in. So you'll just create a thin line here and just keep adding. Make sure that when uh, you see any clumps within the sugar that you just don't add that in. So then what I do is kind of smooth it out. here. Make sure that I don't have any bumps on the sides. And then I'm just going to create some indents to look like natural hills and valleys. Maybe a little bit of room for where I'm going to put my cacti later on. I'm going to set this aside now. And we're going to work on the cacti. Put on your handy dandy gloves. I'm ready to rumble. So the reason that we are cutting the cacti is because I do not want to mix my sugar with the soil in this pot. So if you get a lot of soil on your table where you're working, make sure you wipe it off before you start adding the cacti to your terrarium. Really make sure that you're careful. These can really hurt the skin. The glow kits can get in and be a little itchy. So just be careful, don't push down on the cacti even though you have the gloves on. So I just stick it on the side and literally go through, cut that cacti. And I just want to gently hold it up, brush off any soil. You can see how easy that is then. Nice clean cut, no soil on the bottom. It won't mix with my sugar. Cut another two down. A little bit more soil on this one because it's wider, so I don't have as much control when I'm cutting it. What's amazing about this design is that it lasts a few weeks and you don't have to do a thing.
It's always fun to work with botanicals from your native environment because it really embraces the slow flowers movement that is all the rage right now in the floral industry, really helping our um, na national economy and flower farmers and growers. So that's why I love using cacti too, especially here in the Southwest. Two more. Now this glowed one might get in my hands a little bit. Look at the fuchsia inside of that. Is that not amazing? It's the xylem and phloem within the plant. All right, now I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we'll place these cacti in the terrarium. So now what I'm doing is organizing the cacti in the order that I'd like to put them within this terrarium. Still have my handy dandy gloves on. So I'm going to probably do it just like this. And I'm gonna pair the two that were in one pot together within. So it looks like they're growing out of this amazing sand. So make sure that you don't have any soil on your gloves. Just kind of wipe them off a little bit. Now we're gonna start placing. So easy. I'm gonna gently grab and start at one side. Just kind of nestle it right into that sugar. Okay, you can use your finger and just create a little space for it. I kind of zigzag them a little bit. Doesn't matter. You can just put them in however you like, but I'm just pairing these next to one another. Mimic nature. I grabbed that one a little too much. This is our finished terrarium. If you see any little soil pieces, make sure you just, you can gently just blow the sugar. If you have chopsticks at home, just kind of move the sugar around a little bit to cover up any little soil remnants want that really clean, sophisticated look. You can use black sand too if you want. Just go to your local craft store, order it online, but really simple and fun. What I like to do with placement of rectangular or square containers is put them on the same exact shape table. I would put this terrarium on my dining room table, which is rectangular in shape, or my coffee table that's square in shape. Never really put a round on a square unless you really have a funky design. But this makes everything super modern and clean. Make sure to follow us on Instagram so that you can see how we're displaying these funky terrariums. You can also purchase these troughs on our Etsy page. We have a 12 inch, a 24 inch, and a 36 inch trough that you can choose from to make these terrariums at home. Enjoy bringing the outdoors inside from the floriculture.